guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I'm in a different setting right now. I'm actually on vacation with my boyfriend and his family. We are actually in Maine right now at a lake house. So I'm sorry about the echoing and a little bit different vibe going on, but I wanted to film something for you guys. So for today's video, I filmed this very easy, simple look. Um, obviously, I'm going to call it something like lake house, summer vibe video. Um, this is just what I've kind of been doing, something very simple for going out on the lake. I mean, it is definitely doable. One. Two, not going to take me too much time. And three, I look put together without really trying. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to know how I got this look, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and give this video a huge thumbs up. It would really mean the world to me. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. My foundation or tinted moisturizer that I'm going to use to apply my base does have moisturizer, but I like to really apply a lot of SPF, especially if I'm going to be in the sun all day. But to prime my skin, I'm going to be using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This just gives me such a nice, beautiful glow, even though the tinted moisturizer that I use from Ulta is so dewy. I just love to have that extra glow. Especially when we like in the sun, like I want to look glowy when the sun hits me. I want my skin to look fresh and dewy. So it's just gonna get the job done and I'm just gonna give myself a little spritz with my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I'm like running really low on this, but. So like I said, I'm gonna be using my Ulta Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. I have the shade Light Cool and Medium Warm. This is the dewy finish, um, it has uh, broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen in it and it is so full coverage lightweight and it just gives your skin such a healthy glow I love this stuff so I'm going to take a little bit of light cool on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna mix a little bit of medium warm I do have self tanner on but the loving tan to our kind of faded now so that's why I'm mixing a little bit of the medium warm as well and let's just blend this out and I'm using my morphe y6 brush Make sure you drag it down your neck especially if you're wearing trying to match your self tan always drag it down your neck because that will show especially when you're in the sunlight you will see that demarcation line if you don't try and rub that in. I'm currently sitting on the floor. Um, there's a huge window, like slanted window in front of me. And I'm in the game room, which is a completely separate area from, there's like this foosball table right behind me. There's some couches over here. Um, but yeah, this is like separate from the whole house. It's literally like, I think a garage that they like built on top of and they made like a two-story like there's pool tables and darks downstairs so it's so fun here i'm having the best time so now my skin just looks so healthy everything's pretty much covered up so now i'm going to take my concealer i'm going to take the flower um it's the light illusion full coverage concealer in l12 fair and i'm literally just going to put like a tiny little bit of in like the inner corner just a little bit like to highlight but not to get crazy um so i don't have a sink to wet my sponge so i just sprayed some morphe setting spray on my sponge my beauty blender and we're just gonna blend this out and take whatever we have left and put it on our lids as well now for concealer um I have way lighter concealers when I'm really trying to highlight. I chose one of my darker concealers just to highlight a tiny, tiny bit, but I tried to match my foundation a tiny bit more because, yeah, you don't need to go for that highlighted look today. I'm going to take my Ulta Beauty. This is the Mineral Powder Foundation, but I like it to set. It's really, really nice, and this is in Fair 01C, so like the cooler version. And I'm just going to take a little e.l.f. brush, just dab a little bit, so a tiny, tiny bit on my brush. It's actually probably more than I need, but I'm just going to look up and place that right underneath and on my lids. 
take my bronzer. I'm gonna take my Tarte Park Ave Princess. This is waterproof bronzer. So this will stay in place when you are out in the water. I'm just gonna bronze up the face a tiny bit. Not getting too crazy. Tiny bit in the center of the face. Just even everything out. And now I'm going to take the, um, this is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara in three, which is soft brownie brows. And I'm just going to coat my eyebrows with this. I don't want to do full brows when I'm doing like little to no makeup. So this just gives them some highlight and makes any sparse areas filled in. Like it's a little bit more defined, but it still looks so natural, which is perfect for the late days. So I have some eyebrows, but nothing too crazy. And it literally takes three seconds. Like eyebrows done. Good to go. So I'm just going to actually take my bronzer and just run this in my crease just to give it some definition. This is not a necessary step, but I just feel like when I put concealer and um, some powder on my lids, they just look so white and kind of ridiculous if I don't put a little tiny bit of bronzer. I mean, I'm not trying to do full eyeshadow, but just give it some definition. Now I'm gonna take some mascara. This is the Smashbox X Rated Mascara in Rich Black. Whoa, I literally just found this in my purse, so never used it before. So yeah, this is what the brush looks like. Cool. Um, it says that it is no smudging or flaking, clump resistant up to 12 hours. So I don't know if this is waterproof, but if you're gonna be in the water, I would definitely suggest something that is waterproof. I just currently don't have one, which I know I should have got one before I left for the lake, but I didn't. Wow, this is a very nice natural mascara. Like it makes my lashes look just black and a little bit like, almost like flirty. I like it. It's not clumping at all, which I really like. I hate when my mascara clumps together. It's just like, really? Come on, man. And now I'm just going to take this little bit of highlight. You cannot finish a look without some highlight. And this is the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlight in Sin. This is so pretty, guys. A little bit on that brow bone, a little bit where the sun will hit, like high points of the face. And now I'm just going to take some, um, it's just like lip balm, um, whatever you have works. This is lip balm with hydrating chia seed oil, so it just really hydrates the lips. And then I'm just going to take a lip liner. This is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Trophy Wife. Whatever you have will do. I'm just gonna line my lips. And just kind of like fill them in. Kind of blend it in with my finger. Just give our lips some color, but not be wearing like lipstick. And I'm just gonna take my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I love the smell of this stuff, and I love the, the aerosol spray. Like, feels so good. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna take my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. All right, guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you did enjoy. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I really had fun filming this. Nice little easy chill video. I'm literally sitting on the floor, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know that you are enjoying my videos and yeah. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.